Hello, welcome to the Catherwood and Co video on how to choose the correct size for a dusty pinafore dress. So we're going to go through a couple of scenarios which I hope will help you find the size that suits you best. The first thing I need to say is always go with your bust measurement as your starting point. So the dusty pinafore uh, is already drafted in different cup sizes. So work out what your uh, your size and your cup size is using your upper bust measurement and your bust measurement and find that in the table. Once you've got that, have a look at your waist and hip sizes. So we're gonna go through a couple of scenarios where your waist and hips differ from your bust. So what I have in front of me here is this is a half scale version of the front of the dress. Um, in red is the size 14 and in black is the size 12. So um, we have a bust of 14, a waist and hips of a size 12. So what we need to do is uh, grade between the sizes. So here is our waist notch and here is our hip notch and this is our bust dart. So very straightforward this one. All we need to do is draw a line between the bottom of the dart leg to our waist notch. Okay, so I'm gonna get a, a blue pen and with a straight ruler, draw a line from the bottom of the dart to the waist. And then if I was to, if I was cutting this out um, to cut out on fabric or trace it off, I would then ignore the rest of the size 14 and just carry on down the size 12 pattern. Very straightforward. You do need to remember that whatever you do on the front, if you're changing the size change, you must do on the back. So um, in order to make sure you've done this the same, what I tend to do is just measure the distance between the bottom of the dart leg to the waist, which on this pattern I'll tell you is 11.2 centimetres. Um, so then what I would do is measure 11.2 centimetres on the back waist notch, and that would be my starting point to draw my grade seam. So because I'm working in half scale, mine is half, so don't worry that it's going to look different to yours. So once you've found your, let's say 11.2, you would draw your line in as per the front. And then what you can do, just to double check, you will need to flip the back over. So maybe make a notch here. Just check that it matches. Okay. Right, so that's the scenario if your bust and hips are the same. But what if it's your waist that's different? So you've got the bust of a size 14 and hips of a size 14 and your waist of a size 12. Maybe you've got a, an hourglass figure. So what you could do is like we've done before, we've graded in to our size 12 waist. And what we could do is grade back out to a size 14. So in this situation, oops, you'll need uh, a curved ruler. So going from the waist notch to the hip notch, I'm just going to place my ruler, curved ruler, matching up the notches. And I draw a curve. And once again, anything you do on the front, you must do on the back. So there's no measuring this time. We just need to redraw. So um, if you didn't want to grade between the seams and you did have uh, a waist that was different to your bust and hip measurements, um, then what we could try is dart, dart manipulation. We could manipulate this waist dart. Um, the purpose of a dart is to bring in um, excess material around the cur a curved part of a body. So let's say we want to come in from a size 14 to a size 12 at the waist. That would be that we would make our dart wider 
to take in that extra fabric. Okay, so, um, or you could do the reverse. If you needed to go bigger at the waist, you could make your, uh, your waist start narrower. Okay, so let's think of the scenario once again of um, our waist is a size 12, but our bust and hips are a size 14. Okay, just need to do a small amount of math. So the dark width on the dusty pinafore dress is three centimetres. Okay. Now the difference between sizes on the dusty dress is five centimetres or two inches. Uh, so let's say uh, five centimetres difference. Now, what you'll need to remember is that we're only working on a quarter of the pattern. Um, there are four seams. So we've got two front uh, pieces, and we've got a back piece that has two seams on either side. So we need to divide five by four, and that will get us 1.25 centimeters. So we need to make our dart 1.25 centimeters bigger. 3 plus 1.25, 4.25. Now we need to spread this across the entire dart and we need each side to be equal. We've got a middle line here, so we need to divide that by 2 and that will get us 2.13 centimetres. So this is the same for all sizes of the pattern. So I'm doing the math for you here, so don't worry about it. I'm just trying to explain how we get there. Okay, so um, now once again, I'm working in half scale, so mine's going to look different to yours, don't worry. But the principle is the same. So with a ruler, I've got my little one here, you need to find 2.13 and line it up with the middle line. Okay, and mine's more like one. Okay, and then you would go from zero to and draw a line from 0 to 4.25 on your ruler, making sure that 2.13 is in the middle. Okay, so um, mine's going to be 0 to 2. Okay, so this is our new width of our dart. Now, very simply, we're just going to redraw the dart legs. So draw from the point, the original dart leg point, And that, by making that dart that much wider, we're actually changing the waist size from a 14 to a 12 without needing to grade any of the seams, so without needing to change the back. And like I mentioned previously, you can reverse this, you can make this bigger. Um, so if you needed to go from a 12 to a 14, you would do the opposite. You would make the dart narrower by 1.25 centimetres. Okay. So um, I hope you found this helpful, but do, if you do have any other questions about choosing the right size, um, then please do leave a comment underneath. Thank you for watching and goodbye.